Hey, I am the Asian Slick Slayer, and today we're going to talk about Voice Mod. Voice Mod is a free real time voice changer that you can use to interact with your stream or video game on your PC. Today, I'm going to show you how to install it, set it up, and we're going to review some of the changes they've added since my last video on Voice Mod. They've added Twitch integration as well as some soundboard items. Hopefully, this helps you also with some login issues that I know people are having. And uh, if you have any questions, comment below, hit that sub button, hit that like button if it helps you. There's going to be timestamps below as well, so hopefully this gets you going. Let's dive into it. All right, so first things first is go to voicemod.net. Once you're on that website, let me show you the help section. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and here are the various ways that you can interact with them and ask for help. I highly suggest the support button. Also the discord in the discord. You're going to be able to ask your questions. They may have a copy and paste kind of answer, but there's going to be other users there with your same issues as well as mods to help you out. So if you have any login questions or anything like that, I highly suggest going here because I haven't experienced any of the login issues that I've seen and I am uh, unequipped to help you. I basically take your question, copy and paste it and send it over to the discord and copy and paste their answer right back to you. But I am willing to do that. I have no problem. Just showing you where you can get some help. All right. First things first, again, <laughs> is to get voice mod free. Here are the various methods that you're going to log into the website for. Um, enter with Discord, Twitch, Google, Apple, or use your own email address. Make sure that you're logged into voice mod on your default browser when you start the application. Otherwise, it will try to pull your login and it probably will mess up if it's, you know, you're logging in on something else and your default browser is not set up for voice mod. So make sure if you're using Chrome or, you know, whatever else browser edge, whatever, you know, make sure your default browser is where you have selected your login. That might help you with a lot of different problems that people are encountering. After you've logged in, what that will do is now link your uh, account to the website on this browser. And then if you decide to purchase it, you will um, have your purchase linked to that email so you can use it on various different computers. It's going to automatically download. And so once you download that, it'll be ready to go. But before we do that, let me show you um, sort of a good thing to do when you're setting up to help you keep track of where everything's going. First thing is click on the speaker on the right hand corner of your screen. Go to open sound settings. In here, you will have your defaults. Mine's going to look a little different because I use voice meter banana and or voice meter potato. And it's going to be custom for me, but you're probably going to have your speakers and then maybe your microphone right as your input and output. This will change voice mod will change this and it will I'll show you this on the recording. Click that install. I already have this installed on my com main computer. I don't need these shortcuts here. And it's going to install and you'll see this area flash and it'll change. Watch. As you can see, it's went ahead and made itself my default microphone. 
Now, hopefully the rest of the recording isn't messed up, but we're going to press forward. Launch. Welcome to Voice Mod. With your account, you'll get a personalized and constant experience with any device. Enter Voice Mod. Successfully logged in. Speak in your mic. Your mic. Make, sure Make sure you're listening, you're listening properly. properly. Continue. Continue. Say, Say something, something epic, epic, and you'll and hear you'll your, hear voice, your voice, change. voice change. Beautiful, Beautiful isn't, isn't it? it? We've now, now set up, set up voice, voice mod. Voice mod. Alright, and right now they do have a back to school special, 35% off a lifetime. Let's take a look at these prices. Because this is a free app, but with a paid version. Get Voice Mod Pro. And here you can see the different options. I chose lifetime, so I don't like I don't want another bill. I just bought the whole thing outright. Get comp complete voice box of 80 plus pre-made voice filters, full clean voice included. Unlimited soundboard up load as many mp3 or wave files as you want and play them through your mic in game situation the voice lab design your own unique voices from scratch new content every month enjoy new voices and theme soundboards curated by voice mod and uploaded monthly so here you can see you have today's free voices limited to um i think it's 24 hours so it'll show you how many hours you have left and these will change daily Here's some custom voices that you can make once you're a pro member if you want that. And then here's all the voices. You don't have to wait till they're available for that day. These are the pro voices. So what I, I really like it, you can, you know, have, you can use it for free, test it out, see if you really like it, see if your audience likes it, see if, you know, the gamers you game with like it, whatever. Next, you have the soundboard. Your soundboard create your own soundboards by adding custom sounds or explore explore our themed collections so as you can see they have different things here and this goes through your system sounds and it looks like they also have music to maybe help you with DMC claims and all that stuff it's very interesting the pro version obviously gets you more curated soundboards. And then something that's really neat that I'm going to show you over on my sound, uh, voice mod is voice mod with bits. That will be the last thing I'm going to show you. Next thing here is going to be settings. So this is where you can go to set things up. Again, you have the audio assistant. Check, check. All right, and then uh, advanced audio settings. So if you eliminate any popping or maybe, uh, you know, mic exclusive mode. So if you're having any audio issues, this would be one area that you can check. Down here at the very, very bottom, move it up here. Hear yourself. Hear yourself, Hear yourself, Hear yourself obviously. obviously. Voice changer. Now, if you have a voice on, right, you're using, say, the chipmunk voice and you turn the voice changer off, that won't actually work anymore. Your voice will not be changed. So you want to make sure that this is on so your voice will get that filter. Background effects are, uh, for example, if you're using Santa voice, that's going to have a Christmas background effect and it's just music playing while you have the voice going. It's kind of annoying if you're in a party chat because um, it blasts it right through your speaker, but uh, it could be fun. I don't know. You use it however you'd like. Mute your microphone. This here is where you can kind of help with the various like mixing options for how much voice, like how loud you want your voice changer to be. You can also reduce background noise if you're in a noisy room. That's actually really helpful. You can turn it on or off. Uh, bleep out volume and system output volume. And here's the bleeper. Mother. You son of a... Yeah. 
Now this is goes through system sound, so you will still be able to hear your curse words. I'm I'm assuming I've never really used this because the timing's never perfect. Then you have your various system settings stuff here. Um, if you have the pro, you can export import settings. So you have the same settings across all your computers. And then your key bindings, which is really awesome. And one way that you can uh, have chat interact with this, because um, if you use certain apps, they'll be able to read channel points and then your channel points can be used to activate random voice or something. It's pretty neat. I like it. But let's go over to my main account, my main profile, and I'll show you. Oh, here's voice lab as well make your own voice it'll show you how um plugin let's go over to my main account and i'll show you the voice mod uh bits okay now we're over on my main computer here and here's the plugin and so what voice mod for bits is or voice mod bits is basically people can use cheers they can use bits on twitch to change your voice you don't need another program all you need is voice mod running and the extension on twitch and it even shows you how to do this so step one enable voice mod bits on voice mod and copy the secret key provided don't show anyone this key you can copy the key here or you can reset it Two, install voice mod bits extension on twitch and paste the key um click on connect Let's show you how to do that what you want to do on Twitch is go to the upper right hand corner where your profile picture is, click that, then click on creator dashboard. All right, once you're in creator dashboard, scroll all the way down to extensions and you should see voice mod bits at the very top, or you can search for it, or you can view all and then scroll down and search for yourself. Once you have it installed, right, you click the install button, click on voice mod, configure. And then here you can paste your key, right? Um, see, enable voice mod bits on voice mod and copy the secret key provided. Um, then you click connect button and then you can see it's connected. Then we're on step three. Don't forget to add the panel to your layout. You're ready to become viral. All right, and let me show you the panel on mine. And by the way, I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash AZ and Slick Slayer. And here is the bits, the voice mod bits. Um, and then so we go to voices and here you can, this is where you can select it. You can do uh, bit settings, free to 1000 and anywhere in between there. Five seconds to 45 seconds. This is how long the voice will last. And then in between uh, your cooldown timer for, for between changes. You wanna add a voice select the voice you want we'll do um we'll do hamsters oh i already have hamsters um we'll do um, stranger and then you can actually select a price so a thousand let's go with that and then subscribers only so now not only do they have to be a subscriber but they also have to pay a thousand bits um, I highly suggest not doing that. <laughs> what I'm probably going to do is have this area here be like 50 bits or non subs and then subs will use the bot because the bot I can make it um, more exciting for them and stuff. So we'll go, we'll go uh, 50. Uh, we'll go free subscriber only. I'll change this obviously. And then here's the browser source. If you want to copy the browser source um, into OBS, I have an OBS video on how to do that. Um, so go ahead and check that out. And if it doesn't help you, there are other videos that um, are on YouTube that, can, that help you with a browser source. Browser source is one of the very basics to OBS. Um, but here's the example, more designs coming soon, but basically it'll let people know who's activated the voice as well as play an alert sound. And here you can see my mod Navy Darkstar. Um, has used 50 voids to hear my cute voice for 45 seconds. <laughs> now, um, like I said before, um, I have hotkeys and everything set up, which is cool. And what that allows me to do is use my mix up bot to create, um, create channel points. 
and this bot will read the channel point input and then choose the correct voice. I'm gonna make a video about this later on on how to do this, but what I'm excited about is I can create a new command here. They've integrated with the voice mod bot, the voice mod or voice mod app. And then I could do select voice and it can go Android. So now I don't really necessarily have to have the hotkeys for the voice. I can have the hotkeys for the various uh, sound, the soundboard. So now chat has more options if I set it up to interact with the stream. And what's really neat is, uh, let's see here. Let me go to a different command. So we'll go to my Discord command. My previous mix it up video sort of just showed the command and really didn't help anyone make the command. So what I can do now is upload the command to the community, right? You guys can go over the community tab. Search for my name, I guess, or whatever. And now you can download that command and set it up super easy. I'll also go step by step in the video on what I did to make it. So there'll be a little bit more detail. This mixed up video coming later. Also, you can use touch portal. So here's an example button, my DaVinci Resolve button goes to the DaVinci Resolve page, but it's integrated with Twitch. Touch portal is integrated with hit Twitch and it can use the channel points. And uh, with hotkeys, um, touch portal will be able to automatically select the voice that ch uh, chat wants and touch portal is a stream deck alternative and I'm going to make a video um, about how to use this with your channel points and voice mod. All right, and that is the video. So thank you so much for watching. If this helps you, if you have any questions, comment below. Say, hey, nice video. Good update because I, I do have another one. Um, and I, I, I wasn't really too much you know, informative. It was more talking about how I was new to making these videos. So hopefully this one is more right to the point. There's going to be uh, chapters or, or whatever time you know, stamps so you can just click to it and get to what you need. If you have any questions, I highly suggest going to their Discord. And uh, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, sub to that channel, and uh, I stream on two, uh, Twitch. Fridays and Saturdays and YouTube on Tuesdays, YouTube and Trovo on Tuesdays. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.